Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and if you're looking behind me, that is my sweet Tinkercad Code Blocks Pumpkin. Friends, I've got a pretty neat extension I want to show you, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so if you haven't made the pumpkin yet, I will put a link up above so you can click on that and actually complete the pumpkin coding. If you have it completed, one of the cool things about Code Blocks is you can share an animated GIF file. So when you make this, make sure that you understand you want to get to the exact angle that you want to create it, and then you simply hit Animated GIF. Now as it's moving, you can actually drag and change your scales, zoom out a little bit, and change the picture as it's moving. So notice I'm nudging it a little bit, bringing it back in, and then I'm going to let it sit still for the rest of the animation. It does take a few minutes for this to build, so right now when it goes to this screen, you should probably go get a cup of coffee. On my system, this took about 60 seconds, but it does vary, and I just sped it up so we'd get to work again quicker. Alright friends, so you can see that it did finish, so now I'm going to pick a spot to put it. Alright, so I am going to click on my downloads folder. Yours may go there automatically. I already saved mine once, so this time I'm going to put a 2 after it. I'm saving it again because this time I changed the way it was oriented when it was being recorded. I'm going to hit save, and now friends, I'm going to show you how to edit it and add some sweet text. Alright, so the site we're going to use is called easygift.com, and I'll put a link in the description. When you get there, I want you to start with the GIF optimizer. We need to choose a file, and we're going to find it from our downloads. Remember, mine was named PumpkinMDH with a 2 after it. Yours will be different. Once you've given it a moment, you can hit Upload, and it'll bring it in to the system. After a few moments, you will actually see your animation show up, and then it's time to start having fun with it. All right, so the first thing I like to notice is how many frames it is. Mine is 82 frames, and I'm going to do a lossy optimization. Right now it's 4 meg. Once I hit optimize, it'll be quite a bit smaller, and that'll just mean it'll run faster when it plays on people's computers. So if we scroll down, this is the optimized one. It is half as large as it was before. Now it has 63 frames. And this is important because we're going to add some text to it. When you click Add Text, once again, wait a moment for the system to catch up. You can see there the screen changed, and I can now start adding annotations. I just zoomed into 100% on my screen, and it made these boxes tiny. But watch how this works. I'm going to put a cool word over here. I'm going to just do Happy Halloween. And then I want it to show up at frame 5. And remember how there were 60 frames? I'm going to tell it to last until frame 30. I'm going to make the font size 100. I'm going to keep the impact font, but I want it to be black. When I hit set, I need to scroll down, and you can see that is where it showed up. I don't want it down at the bottom. Instead, I'm going to move it up to the top. I want to add a second chunk of text, so I just go to the next block, and I'm going to put from HL Mod Tech. Once again, I'm going to do a font size of 100 because I found that looks pretty good on these. And then remember how we ended on frame 30? So at frame 35, and I'm going to go all the way to the end, I want it to say the HL Mod Tech. Once again, I am going to make it black. And then I want this, once I hit set, then I can adjust where it shows up. I'm going to keep it down on the bottom. As long as you're doing your math, you can make many, many of these. We need to go to the very bottom of the screen, and the easiest way is with the end key on the keyboard. Scroll up a couple clicks and look for the create GIF. When you hit it, you will have to wait again because it does take time for all these little frames to get put together. When they're done, I'll show you what it looks like. You can see mine just finished. There is the Happy Halloween at the top. It skips a couple frames, and then down below, you get the From HL Mod Tech. You can add whatever you want to yours. That is the fun part of it. When you are done and you have created the GIF, you do need to save it. Once again, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. It wants to use that easy GIF name. I'm going to put 
my old pumpkin name but put an A after it. So I'll know that is the one that has all the cool text added. Real quickly, if you want to see your animated GIF, you can click Show in Folder. When it pops up, what I like to do is right click and choose Open With, and then I've been watching them in Internet Explorer. They pop up super quick, and you get to see what you built. If you want to add this to an email, you can just send it to people. All kinds of things you can do to share your cool Halloween pumpkin. Friends, we barely scratched the surface with all the amazing things you can do with Easy GIF. Please have fun, explore. Just remember the biggest thing is every time you're using it, watch that corner of the screen, give it time to complete what it's doing because the stuff it's doing behind the scenes is pretty darn impressive. Friends, of course, if you make something awesome, don't forget you can share it with me at HLModTech. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also just stick it in a Gmail. I am at HLModTech. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed before, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.